All right, Ash, I said it as you came in. You go from a bogey on 17, <laughs> and you kind of just wipe that away with the eagle you just made on 18. Just what was the feeling coming up to those last two holes? Um, yeah, I hit a really good drive on 17, and then just that fairway just slants, you know, really left to right, and hit a little bit heavy, just made a bad swing, and then had a terrible last standing half in and out the bunker, so I just kind of tried to get it on the green, take my bogey, and get out of there. Obviously, we know 18 is gettable. And I just said to Tanya, okay, I just need two more good swings. And that's what I did. <laughs> two more good swings, especially. Yeah. But before that, a string of birdies as well. Mm -hmm. You, We've been seeing you become more and more comfortable in this course over the last two days. Just overall, what has been your mindset and your kind of comfortability being in contention two weeks in a row like this? Uh, mindset is exactly the same as it's been for the last few months. You know, just trying to do my job well when I get to the ball, only focus on one thing that I'm trying to focus on particular when I'm swinging it, when I'm chipping, just do that one thing well. And then when I'm putting, try to do that one thing well. So I've got a few things that I need to just implement. And, you know, when I get over the ball, I clear my head and that, that's my only thought to try to do that good. Is this maybe the most free golf you've probably been playing in a while, you feel like? Oh uh, yeah, for sure, yeah. And why would that be other than maybe the win? Um, obviously, you know, winning gives you confidence and, you know, it's a byproduct and it just like kind of once you're in that situation, the more you put yourself in the situation, the more comfortable you become. Um, but again, by not focusing on the outcome and just trying to, like I say, focus on that moment and do my job well at the ball, that kind of frees you up a lot, I think. Yeah. What did you hit in at 18 and how close were you? I hit a five hybrid. It's probably about five meters, five, six, probably six meters. Six meters. Yeah. How yeah. far out were you on the approach? Um, the hole was playing, I still play meters. The hole was 192, but I had 172 to the front downwind. That's all we were trying to do. I was a little blocked out by that tree, so I had yeah. to whip it around the tree, which right. I did. And that's not my favorite shot. I fade the ball. So, you know, I stood up there, committed really well to the shot, and I just said to Tony, if I can get this to the middle of the green, but it rolled up there a little closer, which Very was nice. nice. Right to left, or right to left shape. Which, which, which one is? Uh, for me, left to right is left my right. standard. I fade the ball, so yeah. a draw. I mean, I can hit it when I want to. It's just not my standard shot. You, uh, when you look at your play over the last year and, mm -hmm. and how well you've played winning big championships around the world, do you look at it as more of a breakthrough uh, in your physical game or your mental game? Both. Um, I think the physical game has been there for a long time, but the mental game needed some work, and that's just given me that nudge to get over the line. Um, but physically as well, um, you know, my body, I feel I'm a bit stronger than I was maybe last year. And like I've said, you know, having the full-time physio that I've worked with out here, she's been great at keeping me in it when weeks I thought I might not have played just to keep me <laughs> rolling. And, and the weeks I'm doing in the off, the work I'm doing in the off weeks back in Florida, I think is also helping. Um, with, your, uh, with your mindset kind of, um, when you're in a pack of five or six players and you're all tied how does that affect your mindset and what's your mindset when you're in that position it doesn't change to be honest um i think when you start to push then that's where mistakes happen so again i know i've been repeating myself for the last few weeks but every time i get up the ball i just think of whatever shot i'm trying to hit and just commit to that completely and whatever the outcome is after that obviously it's difficult to sometimes forget about it if you don't get the one you want but then just get up to the next one and try to do your, the best you can on the next shot. And today I made four really good up and downs to keep me in it. Um, if I didn't make that, I wouldn't be probably, I wouldn't be lying where I was. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you haven't won this, uh, you haven't won this event um, in your career. Uh, yeah. What would a win, what would a win in this tournament mean to you? Yeah, any win would be special no matter what tournament it is. Um, obviously we're out here to give ourselves chances every week. Uh, I'm giving myself a chance again this week, um, but again, you know, this course is low scoring, so it's gonna you're gonna need a good one tomorrow. But I think the key is not to push too hard. What were those uh, four par saves you talked? Th those four um, saves you talked about. The first one was on two. Um, I kind of hit it was in the rough and didn't come out and up and down from like 30 out. One was on nine. Uh, hit it left in the rough, punched it out just short right of the green, um, short of the bunk out the rough, made up and down. Um, 10, I hit it a bad tee shot left in the bunker, could only hit it 80 yards out, still had to hit three wood in, hit it short right bunker, up and down from like 40 yards out the bunker. And then on 15, 
I hit it, just got unlucky, took one big bounce, went long, and the pin, I mean, we all know 15, uh, no, 16, sorry. You can't really go long in that hole, and I hit a great shot from the back pin to a back pin, and just, yeah, it was a four, four really good shots to keep me in it. How close did you hit your pitch? Oh, I hit it to like three feet, oh, wow. yeah. Does the uh, does the putter feel as good as last week? Better than last week? It looked like you'd rolled in some nice mm, mid-range um, putts. Early. Yeah, I feel actually more comfortable because these greens are pure, <laughs> so I don't feel like I have to work as hard as getting the ball to the hole. I hate having to hit the ball. Obviously, last week um, the greens were a little bit more bumpy and slower, but all we did last week was change my grip pressure, and that just helped me get the ball speed up a little bit. And this week I've been able to drop it back to where I'm comfortable. Unless you find when you look at being in contention tomorrow and the feelings that will bring, is it just a night and day comfort level over what it might have been five years ago? Oh, yeah. for sure, definitely. Um, I think because, like we say, I have the tools to deal with that pressure a bit better than I would would have used to, than I used to have. Um, you know, when I'm in that situation, I kind of I feel a bit calmer. The nerves are obviously there, but I think because I know how to implement the shots I need to do, it just calms me down a bit. All right, all good for cool. me. Thank you, Ash. Thank you. I can see why Tiger won so much, right? He's <laughs> always comfortable in the, yeah, the heat.